To start the tutorial, you will need a 2x12 plate and a 6x8 plate. Place the 6x8 plate right here. So you have these studs hanging over. Next, place a 1x8, an 8x8 plate, excuse me, and a 1x8 plate, like that. Next, take a 1x6 plate right here, place it at the front right here. Next, take another 1x6 plate, place it right here, and then take a 1x12 plate, place it right here, like so. so. Now you have this. Now take another 1x6 plate and place it right here. Next, take a 1x1 one one plate, place it right here, like that. Now take another 1x6 plate, or a 1x8 plate, and place it right here, like that. And then take a 1x3 plate, and then take another 1x3 plate, place them right there, like that. Now, take a 1x6 plate, and set it right here, oh, right here, like so. Now. A six by six plate and place it at the front right here. Next, take a six by eight, I think, six by ten plate and place it right here. And now take a 2x6 plate and place it right there. There is the starting. Of All right, the next step after you have your chassis made is to start with the body. So take a 1x8 plate or brick and place it right here. Next, take a 1x2 brick and a 1x1 one one brick and place them as shown right here. Next, take a 1x8 brick and place it at the back right here. Next, take a 1x6 brick and place it right here, like so. Next, take a 1 by 10 brick, place it right above, right there. Make sure to leave a 1 by 4 space right here, and place a 1 by 4 brick right here. Like that, so you have an opening for your door. Next, take another 1x4 brick and place it right there. Now, take a 1x1 one one brick with a knob on the front and place it right here, like so. Now, take Place it next to the 1x4 brick. This is what is going to attach to our front cap. So, next, take a 1x4 
by 16 brick and place it, take out the one with 6 brick, and place it right here. And then replace the 1 by 6 with the 1 by 3 by that. Now, take a 1 by 6 brick and place it right there. Now take a 1 by 2 brick and place it right there. Next, take a 2 by 2 window pane and place it right here. This is going to be the window for our kitchen. Next, take a 1 by 1 brick. And place it right here, like so. Next, take two one by two bricks and stack them on top of each other, and place them next to the one by two window. And next, take another one by one brick and place them right here. Now, take a one by four window and place it. Right here. It's going to be the window for our dinette. Now, take a 1x4 brick and place it right next to the 1x4 window. Right here. Next, take a 1x4 tile and place it right here. This is going to be tile for our slide out. So place a 1x2 tile right next to the 1x4 tile right here. Right there. Now take a 1x2 window right here and place it right here. This is going to be the window for our bunk bed. Next Take a 1 by 8 brick and place it right here. Now take a 1 by 2 brick and a 1 by 1 brick and place them right next to each other, like so. Right on to the right side. Right there. Like so. Now take a 1 by 6 brick, a 2 by 4 brick, and a 2 by 2 brick. Place the 1x6 brick in the area, area as shown, right here. Place the 2x4 brick right here. Focus, there. This is going to be our bottom bunk. Place them right there. Now, take a 1 by 8 brick, place it right here. And then take a 1 by 2 brick with two knobs and a 1 by 2 white grill, place it next to the 1 by 8 brick. This is going to be our vent for our refrigerator. Now take a 1 by 6 brick and place it right here. Now, take a 1x1 one one brick and place it right next to the 1x6 brick. Right there. Alright, now take a 1x8 brick and place it next to the window right here. This is going to be where our bathroom is going to go. Next, take a 1x4 window right here and place it right here. Place a 1x2 brick right next to the window and tiles. Next, take a 1x1 brick and a 1x2 brick. Place them right here. And also, when you're building this, you can use any color you want. I'm just using white because it looks 
way more professional and all that. So, yeah. All right, next, take a one by three brick and place it on top of the one by one and the one by two brick. Take another one by three brick, place it right there. Next, take a one by one by two brick and place it on top of the one by two brick right here. Now, take a one by three brick and place it above the refrigerator vent right here. here. Uh, now, take a one by six brick and place it right here. Take a one by four brick and place it right next to it. Now, take a one by six brick, place it right here. Take a one by one brick and place it right here. Also, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video and listen and go back and listen to the step and then continue the video as well. Next, take a one by six plate and place it on top of the one by six brick right here. Next, take a four by six brick or well, four by six plate and place it on top of the one by six plate. This is going to be our top bunk. Now take a one by four brick and place it right here. Now take a train door and place it right here. Take a one by one brick and place it right here. Now take a one by eight brick and place it right on top of the window. Next, take a one by four plate and place it right here on top of the bunk. Next, take a one by one plate two of them actually and also be careful right here because it is very fragile still now take two one more of these one by one plates right here place it next to the previous one by one plate and also you don't really have to put the door in but i will do that right now so Next, take a one by two brick and a one by one brick and place them right here. Like that. Now, take a one by, I want to say 14 brick. One by 16, actually. And place it right here, locking in the door and the window, like that. There we go. Next, take a one by one brick and place it right here. Now, take a one by six brick and place it right here. Now, take a 1x4 brick and place it on top of the 1x6 brick. Now take two more 1x1 bricks with two side knobs. I couldn't really find one with ones and place it right on the front here. Like so. Like that. Take two of these in total. Now, take a 1x8 brick, place it right here, and then take a 1x6 brick and place it right there, and then take another window, place it right there. Now take two 
one by one bricks and place them right here. Like so. Then take a one by six brick, place it right here. A one by three brick, place it right next to the one by six brick. Another one by six brick, place it next to the one by three brick. And then take a one by three and a one by one, place the one by one brick right next to the one by six brick, and place the one by three next to the one by one. Now take a one by one brick and place it next to the one by sixteen plate. And yeah, here we go. All right. Now take two more one by one bricks, place them like that, and place them like so. There is the body to our travel trailer. To start the construction of the rear bed slide out, take a four by six plate and a two by six plate. Now take a 4x4 four four plate and place it in the front, like so. Right there. Press down firm. Next, take a 1x4 plate and place it next to the 4x4 four four plate, like so. Now take a 1x4 wall element and place it in the back. This will give us more headroom for our minifigure. Next, take a 1x6 brick and place it right alongside the wall element and the plates. Next, take a 1x4 brick, place it right there, and take a 1x2 brick, place it right there. On the other side, take a 1x6 brick and place it right here. Now, take another 1x6 brick and place it right there. Next, take another 1x6 brick and place it right here. Now, take a 1x6 brick and place it on top of that. Now, to tile, take a 1x6 tile. You can use any color of tile you want. I'm just using white. Take another 1x6 tile, place it right here. Take a 2x4 tile and place it right here. Take a 2x2 tile, place it next to the 2x4 tile. Next, take a 1x4 tile and a 1x2 tile. Place the 1x4 tile right here. And place the 1x2 tile next to the 2x2 tile. Next, take two one by one slopes, like cheese wedges, some people call them, and place them right here, like so. Now, take a printed out logo of Jayco and stick it on the back. To make it look professional. Any logo for any brand of RV will work. I'm just using Jayco because this is a Jayco J feather. So, and there is the completed construction of the bedroom slide out. Moving on to the interior, take a one by three by six door. I'm not sure, and place it right here. Like that. Next, take a two one by two brick that is three one by two bricks high and place it right next to the door. You might have to take out the door for this part. Place it right there. Next, take A 
uh, one by one brick here and place it right here and place a one by one on top of the one, one by one brick. Next, take another one and place it in the back like so. Place a one by one brick on top of that. This little cubicle right here is going to be our bathroom. Now, take a one by two one by one bricks and place them right here. There. Take two more one by one bricks. Place them like so. Replace the door. So. Next, take a two by three brick and place it on top. And a two by two brick and also place it on top. And now, to hold it all together, place a 2x4 brick on top, like so. There is our bathroom cubicle. Now, take two 1x3 bricks and place them right here, next to the bathroom cubicle. This is going to be the base for our refrigerator. Now, take cupboard. Any color will work. I'm just using white. And place it on top of the two 1x3 bricks. Take another one. Place it along top. There we go. Next, take another 2x4 brick. And place it right on top. Now we have a nice completed bathroom and fridge cubicle. Now... Dining room, take a two by two, two by two brick, take two two by two bricks and place them on top of each other, place them next to the, by the two by two brick. Take another one, place it right here for the dining room. Now, take two one by threes bricks and place them right here. This is going to act as our thing. Now, I'll take a two by four and a two by two brick and place them like so. Now place a 1x3 brick right here. And another 1x3 and another 1x3 brick right here. And take two 1x1 one one bricks and place them right here to complete our sofa. There is a completed sofa right there. Next, take a 2x4 two two brick and another 2x4 brick. Let's place them on top of each other. Take a 1x2 plate with stud, place it right here, take a faucet, I'm using a gold one, place it there. Now, take two real plates, Um, 
um, take two of these, I only have one, and place them right here. And then take a 1x2 tile and place it there. I'm not going to do it right now because I don't have time. And then when you're finished with the kitchen, place it right here. There's the interior of the RV. Now, take the bedroom slide we constructed and place it in the space shown. Next, take a 1x8 plate, place it on the top right there. And then take a 1x6 plate, put it here. Take a 1x8 plate, set it right here. Next, take a 1x4 plate, place it right here. Next, take a 1x6 plate, place it alongside the 1x8 plate. Next, take a 1x6 plate, place it right here. Next, take a 1x4 plate, Place it right here. Now take a one by let's see. One by eight plate. Place it at the front to lock that front part in. Then take since I don't have two one by two. One by two, a plate, just take a one by two tile and place it there. Next, take a one by eight tile and place it right there. Next, take a one by eight tile and place it here. Take two one by three tiles and place them right here. Take a one by four tile, place it here. Slide up to one part. Now take a one by four plate tile, two of them. Ah! Place them right here. Now take the remaining one by four plate tiles, place them. And then take a one by six tile. Basically a one by four tile with that right here. Let me find Alright, so, I am back. Take two 1x1 one one tiles and place them right there. There is the tile. To start the front cap, take a 4x8 plate. Next, take a 2x3 plate. Place it like so. Next, take a two one by four plates like so place them accordingly here next take two one by one plates and place them right here next take 16 of these bows or whatever place them like so, like that. Repeat on the other side.
here we go. A nice smooth cap. Next, take your logo and place it in the middle, like so. Press down firm. Next, take the front of the trailer, place it like so. Like that on the front. For the tow hitch, take a hitch receiver and a tow hitch, place it right here. Take a 2x2 two two brick with a 1x2 tile on top, place it to connect these. Then take a like bearing plate, brick with bearing, place it on the bottom for the tongue jack. So it can, like that, so it flips up out of the way. Next, take the trailer and place it right here on the bottom. Press down firm. Now you have a nice little tongue jack for the trailer. To start the roof, take a 6x12 plate. Next, take a 2x12 plate. Place it like so. Next, take a 6x12 16 plate, something like that. Place it like so. Like that. So you have an overhang in there as well. Like so. Next, take a 2x4 black plate. You can use any plates you want for the roof. I'm just using black because it looks better with the white. Next, take a 6x6 plate and place it underneath. And then take a two two by four plates, and then take a four by four plate and place on the front like that. And then take an air conditioning unit, place it in the middle. Next, take the trailer and put it on so, so it snaps. Now you have a nice roof for your child. For the wheel assembly, take a wheel bearing plate, something like that. Take two of these wheels, place them right here. Next, take two. 2x2 two two plates, place them like so. Now you have one. Repeat with the other. Now you have two wheels for your trailer. Now, take the wheel assemblies you made, stick them onto the trailer like so. Now, you have a completed travel trailer. For the last step, take two, like, angle plates and two red 1x2 transparent brake plates, place them on the back for brake lights, like so. Now you have a completed travel trailer. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, then definitely comment down in the comment section below and ask for more tutorials, which I'll be happy to guide you through. And also, if you want me to make a specific RV or so, just comment down below and I will look through your comments and take some requests. So yeah, definitely make sure to subscribe, comment, 
and like the video and for more mocks and also for more RV tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video.